In today's video, we're going to create a smooth fusion transition. If you want to learn fusion a bit, stay with me and let's begin. What I wanted to create is a color flash transition. I called it like that. Basically, I wanted to have some kind of smooth transition between two clips. What I uh, discovered in the um, transitions available in DaVinci Resolve, if you tap uh, color, you get on a deep to color, but this is not what I actually wanted. Not bad, but I wanted something more fancier. And then I tried something that's called bright flash. Uh, but this is not what I wanted neither. It looks like this. You can further customize it. The brightness, saturation, you cannot change the color. So what I came up is something like this. And today we're going to recreate it in Fusion step-by-step -step tutorial. This transition is also available on my coffee page if you don't want to create it from scratch. So basically what you get after installation is a color flash transition that you drag and drop between clips and you can further customize in the inspector. You can get this Fusion composition also for free. All you need to do is to fill in this form and it will be sent to you automatically. Okay, so now let's begin with Fusion tutorial. First, what you need to do is to have some kind of base a transition on which you're gonna, you, you're gonna work on. So what I like to do is to take a random Fusion transition, for instance, box wipe, doesn't matter which one. And now what you need to do is to open this transition in Fusion. You can click in the inspector, this button, which means open in Fusion, or you can right click on the transition and choose open in Fusion page. This is how the transition looks like. What we're gonna need is of course our media in two and media in one. We're gonna get rid of this box wipe group of nodes. So delete it. Let me close effects to make more room and rearrange my windows. If you don't see this navigation panel, tab V. Okay, so we got our media in, uh, our media in one, our media in two and our media out, which is displayed on the second screen. You can tell it by the dots, uh, the, the white dot that is um, activated here. If you click it, you will disable the preview. You can enable it by clicking this dot or by tapping two on the keyboard or one on a keyboard. If you click one, it will be displayed on the left preview screen. Hope that makes sense. I don't know how advanced you are in Fusion. That's why I try to explain it from the very beginning for everyone who sees the Fusion for the first time. If it's too slow for you, you can always play this video with a faster uh, speed. Okay, so let me preview this uh, output media out on my right screen and disable the left preview. Now with the media in node selected, just tap shift space. That will open a select tool like this and search for something that's called dissolve and add. It will add a dissolve node between your media in and media out. And now what you need to do is to connect your media in two with this, this uh, green triangle. As you see, media out is previewing our second media in node because in dissolve, if you open inspector, you get something that's called background for foreground controller and you can smoothly switch between two uh, media in and media two nodes like that. This is how it behaves. The operation also can be changed. You can experiment with that. We're gonna leave this off. So we need to animate this control. So right click on your control, which is background foreground control, modify with alim curves. That will enable modifiers tab. So if you jump right into it, what it does by default is uh, it will take your background control and it will set it to zero at the beginning and it will end up with the val max value, which is one. So it's a very linear way of transition between first clip and second clip, which can be uh, previewed on this media out. Uh, we're gonna change this. We don't want a linear. I'm gonna switch to custom instead of linear. So at the beginning we got zero, at the end we got value one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create another key point somewhere on this line. I will click it and with in and out controls, you can uh, set the exact, the exact value you want at this point uh, be representing. So let's say I will set in in, I will set 0 0.45 and I will set out to zero. 
at the beginning of our transition nothing happens until it reaches 35% uh, of the timeline and then it increases to 1. So let me show you that in um, real time. Let me play it. So at the beginning nothing happens, then it's, it's, change, uh, it's changing to 1. But I want it to be very sharp. So I'll create another key here. I will set in input to 0 0.55 and I will set one as output. So as you see, we are transitioned very fast in the middle of our transition. Let me play it. Yeah, it's too fast. I will go back to edit page and make this transition longer because we got not enough frames to work, uh, work in in the fusion page. So right now it's 40 frames and it's better. So let me go back to the fusion page you can also click this point and make it a bit smoother with this um, with this handle and same here so I've created a bit of S curve like that so it's not as linear as it was before let me play it and it looks like this it's very very fast in the middle of the transition it's changing the value from 0 to 1 so that would be our first step now what we need to do is this flash color effect that will go through this transition that will start at the beginning and dissolve and uh, disappear at the end we're gonna need for that a fast noise node so create a fast noise and let me preview it on the left and we need to customize it what I did was I increased contrast not too much and I decreased scale and to make it moving, I increase the C rate. So if you play it, now this is, uh, it looks like this. Of course, you can further customize it, all these details, all these controls. Let's not spend too much time here. Let's say this is fine, this is what we want. Then I took a background node and mask, mask it out with the fast noise. Like so, and let me preview on the right. The background by default is black, so let me change it to uh, maybe orange. And now if we play it, we got something like this. And finally, I merged over uh, this uh, little composition over the dissolve node. So just drag and drop the output of the background over the dissolve uh, one output. So it creates a merge node and it's visible all the time. And this is not what we need. Let me preview media out to see the, the whole composition. So this is how it looks. The, the color is um, visible all the time. So what you need to do is to animate the blend parameter in the merge and the merge node. So basically you do it the same way as we did with this uh, and dissolve background foreground. So in the merge node, right click blend, modify with Anim curves, go to modifiers, switch to custom, and now modify this linear line. So at the beginning, we want the color to be visible more and more, and at the end, we want it to be disappeared. So what you can do is create a key point here, place it exactly at the middle with value one, and take this one, make sure it's zero. Right now we've created a very linear way, but you can of course further customize it by adding some smoothness. So this is how it looks so far, not bad. And this is how you can build your own fusion transitions. In most of the cases all you need is the dissolve node that will switch from one clip to another using background foreground control. You animate it with uh, anim curves that can be customized here. And then you build on top of it other effects like this flash color effect. In my ready to use fusion composition that you can download for free from this page, I've added also something that looks like this. Let me show you. I added also a glow node so you can um, control glow if you want if you want the effect to be more glowy and I also created some kind of uh, flying flashes like this this is also done using fast noise over the background node I've added some soft glow and another 
displays node that will actually um, take the straight light into more distorted lines like this and I've merged that over the whole transition so the final effect looks like this that can be downloaded for free if you don't want to play with fusion if you don't want to do it on your own and you like it so basically what you need to do is to download this fusion composition let me show you from the beginning you just take the random fusion transition no matter which one you open it in fusion you delete everything that is here and you go to file import Fusion Composition, you open my Fusion Composition and it should be working right off the bat. So that would be it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you've learned something. If yes, tap subscribe and like to not miss out upcoming tutorials. Cheers and see you in the next one.